We have a new ZBrush and it's called ZBrush 2018. I think it's more friendly. I know that they wanted to go for ZBrush 5, but I think they changed their mind. They did a bunch of cool upgrades like this Sculptris Pro. Also, if we are going to the plugin, and we have a new poly group it and i'm going to talk about this uh, new video i think also they add more option to decimal master so i think i'm going to make it with poly group video let's focus on sculpt this pro i do like this new option because usually when i have a big mesh like this one even full body and I need to add this tiny detail I always had problems with as you can see with information in these areas so now with Sculptus I think we resolve those issues the only thing is by using Sculptus we do not have we don't need to have subdivide so I'm going to delete lower for now and let's press this icon as you can see the colors change so now we have some sort of pink and the red one so now we know that we are in sculpted so if you go by pressing b and go to clay build up and uh, let's say that we want to add more details over here so uh, the Sculptus Pro works with size of brush. If I have bigger, let's press Polyframe and choose this one. Oh, I need to delete. And press Sculptus Pro. I need to get used with this new <laughs> information. As you can see, it make it more uh, big. If you go lower, we start to sculpt more dense, super dense. And it's transformed the mesh in triangles, like some sort of decimation. It will be, I think it will be more cool if they made it like DynaMesh with quads, but maybe in the future. So now I can go and work details on this arm, which is really really awesome so I can make the the hand more details his face look how 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 are the details over here so now if I go in, uh, to the maximum I should have more information look I add more information I can even make a detailed nose so this is really really cool and now with uh, substance painter you can make cool normal maps with high details so i really found this uh, new option sculptis pro super helpful you can go on pixelogic zebrast to watch their video they very informative i'm just going to go through what I'm going to use it in the near future. Uh, by example, you can go to Stroke and Sculptis Pro, you have more information that you can use from here, Adaptive Skin Size and Combine. Um, yeah, so I think this is a really cool upgrade. Also, the cool thing is that let's go by pressing B to Standard and let's go to RGB and let's say that we want to paint and in here we need more um, painting information and if you go to a color and if we go to lower brush as you can see we have detail painting and if we go to polyframe you can see the mesh is changing accordingly with the new painting let's go bigger and it doesn't need to change because we have 
uh, more points over here. So if you go bigger here, can you see the difference? So also I think is very, very uh, helpful. Also, they did add and the change. Let's go to B and let's pick up the snook hook, which I usually use. And now, <laughs> this is the cool part. We can let's let's make some horns over here. So as you oh sorry, I'm painting mode. We can just drag and drag. If you go with the size, we can, I think we can drag it to infinite <laughs> or how much our uh, computer can handle. So as you can see, if I'm going bigger, even if I'm in inflate, it will add less triangles. If I'm going lower, we will add more and I can inflate. So it's pretty cool. The same with smooth if I'm pressing shift. Oops. If I'm pressing shift, I can easily erase this. It's that easy. If I'm going lower, I'm going to add more smooth shift erasing also very cool and helpful <laughs> the other beautiful thing that i saw if let's go and make this bigger and press shift and finally we can erase and separate two objects from one so this is another cool one you can make uh, i think beautiful drops of water <laughs> They can also add more uh, brushes, you can check them out, like they add a new snake hook too, and this should be going straight I guess, so where is my mesh, as you can see it's going straight in the, the space, also they had this snake sphere so you can easily make a nose or like a horn anything you want i guess oh wow this sculpture is beautiful the main update is that you can easily add way more details over here so i do have another example Let's go and pick up my horse and let's let's close the poly paint for now and by example I wanted to add more veins over here as, as you can see we have the low mesh in this area so now it's way easier of course we do not need to have uh, subdivides and let's go to B and standard I am in Sculpted Pros because I see, I see the cursor is a different color and let's just add oops I'm in RGB let's control Z again close polypane and let's go Z I don't know why I have alpha anyway and as you can see, the vein are way more detailed. Again, it's way better for normal math. So pretty cool. I also had always problem. Let's see, let's take these hooves and let's go to solo. As you can see, I could not add too much detail because of the density of this area so now will be way easier oh they disable 
The mesh is ah okay. So sculpted pose doesn't work with hidden uh, area, which is mm, I don't get it why. It's enable now, and I can add more details. Again, pretty cool. I'm not sure why they don't allow it with hidden area, but that's the option for now. The other thing that I saw on ZBrush is that they add again the zoom and this option, these three options. <laughs> so in 4AA, I think they move it only on this area. The other thing that they that will be cool to be updated. It will be the sub tool. In R7, if I would press this eye, everything will be closed, and I'm going to just open what I wanted to be on my uh, viewport. But maybe next time, or maybe they will implement a mode to make group folders like in Photoshop, and you can select. I know the hairs and make a new folder with it. That will be cool. That will be a cool new feature. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, see you next time with new option in ZBrush 2018. Take care.